Hey everyone, this is Dave in ITS. Today I'm going to show you how to use the web storage in the lobby. I'll show you how to navigate web storage, use the live edit tool, and download forms. So once you log into the lobby, you want to find the web storage tile. If it isn't in your recents or favorites, just go ahead and type in web, and you'll see this green icon that says web storage here. Once you're in web storage, the areas we're going to look at are the IU5 file share and the IU5 forms. So to navigate web storage, we'll start with IU5 file share. So if you click on that, um, from here you can navigate to the folder that you want to go. So I've got my folder here, and you can also change your view in here. So on the top right here it says uh, standard view. If you click on that, you can change that, switch between standard view, uh, details view, and list view, so whichever one you'd like. In the file share, you can use live edit, which I'll get to in a moment, and you can also make new files or upload files. So if your window looks like mine, to make a new file, you want to click on more options, and then come down to new, and you can either go to a new file or new folder. So make a new folder um, to organize your stuff, make a new file, and you get to choose from the different kinds of files. If you click upload, you can also upload any file from your computer, so you can come here and browse through your computer and uh, find the file that you need and upload that. You can also upload files uh, just straight from your desktop by clicking them, dragging them into the browser window and letting go, and they'll automatically upload there. So here's the uploaded file. So those are the basics of navigating web storage. Uh, now I'll show you how to use the live edit. So in the live edit function, it's pretty simple. Just go ahead and browse to the file that you need and just click it and it will open up the live edit. Once the file loads, it's gonna resemble Microsoft Word, but it'll all be contained in your browser window. You can then make changes to the file, whatever you'd like. So once you're finished making changes, you can save it in one of two ways. You can either come over here to the save and just click that and it'll save everything. Or you can exit out and it'll prompt you to save. When you're exiting out, make sure that you click on this small X down here and not this large X. So clicking on the small X uh, will exit out. And I already saved my changes, but if you haven't, it'll prompt you to save them. Once you see it is safe to close this window, then you can click the large X. So those are the basics of using live edit. Now I'll show you a little bit about downloading forms. So to use the forms downloader, make sure that you're not using file share, make sure you're using IU5 forms. So if you click on that, you can navigate to the form that you need to download. I'm going to click on finance. And I'm going to find travel voucher 2016. So to download it, you can just click on it and it'll download here. And once you have it down here, you can click this arrow, show in folder, and you'll see it in your downloads here. So from here, you know, you can cut and paste, copy and paste, whatever, or drag and drop to wherever you need it. And if you want to know how to open up a form, edit it, and email it out directly from Adobe, you can watch a second video here and it'll show you how to do that. So that is the basics of navigating web storage using live edit and downloading forms. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email or call us on the helpline. Thanks.